and families that have no idea their kids are being exposed to this. This woman seen here agreed to be on camera, but asked that I not use her name to protect her daughter regarding her experience. On August 26th, she moved her daughter and two other friends into the Highlands Apartments on Enterprise Road. From day one, she knew they had a problem. We had a lot of other maintenance issues, but the mold was always the biggest concern we had. While getting her daughter settled into her apartment to start the school semester, she noticed black mold in the bathrooms, kitchen, and even the dishwasher. To be honest, I felt very blown off. I'm kind of, you know, it was kind of like, oh, yeah, we'll get back to you. No problem. Um, I'll let the management know and, and we'll take care of that within, you know, a couple days or whatever. And nothing was done. After multiple maintenance requests, a crew was sent to fix the mold. They came in and caulked over the mold in my daughter's bathroom, um, painted over the mold in this student's bathroom but it didn't take care of the issue. Apart from being unsightly, the mold started to cause even more problems. I was very concerned about my daughter. She already had pre-existing issues with breathing and did not need that added on top of it. Um, at first, we kept blowing it off thinking that was it, but then the other girls were also having issues and we realized that you know, this was something that everybody was having trouble with. The girls in this story are not alone. If you go to the Highlands Yelp page, you can see other reviews making the same complaints. I reached out to the Highlands for comment, and they issued a statement that says, in part, Issues concerning air quality are given high priority, and we follow detailed operating procedures to resolve them. Highlands encourages all its residents to use the resident portal to submit requests for any unresolved maintenance issues their apartment may have. They didn't see it as a priority. On September 30th, just one month and four days after they moved in, all three parents moved the girls out. They could have forgotten the issue and moved on, but she says she can't let another parent leave their child there. I know there's someone else in that unit that is being exposed to mold.